it's uh, Peter Smith from Sapphire Irrigation Consulting and I'm here at uh, Kaiwong Flat today to undertake an evaluation of the irrigation system that we're standing in front of. This is a seven span valley centre pivot irrigation system and what we're doing is going to evaluate how much water is being put out, the uniformity of that water, uh, the flow rates along a number of the sprinklers, uh, the pressures that it's operating at and we're also going to be doing a pump evaluation. We're going to look at the flow rate from the pump and the power usage from the pump to see if it's working as efficiently as it should be. Some of the steps we've taken to get ready, there are catch cans laid out all along the length of the, uh, the system and uh, the system is going to pass over those catch cans and we'll measure the catches. We've put extra pressure gauges on the system so we can measure at the centre and very importantly measure at the end. The end pressure is usually more important than the centre pressure and we have set up uh, a pressure gauge at the pump and a meter as well. Uh, so we're going to undertake all of those things over the next few hours and then we'll crunch the numbers or I'll crunch the numbers over the next few days and see what the performance is. These tests will inform um, Adam about his irrigation system. If you don't know how your system's performing, if you don't, haven't made the measurements, you really don't know what you're putting on. It's going to help usually by allowing the, the control panel to be calibrated. Very often control panels say they're putting on so much water, but they're not really putting it on and it's usually less. Quite often the systems are not putting on water as evenly as they should be, sometimes quite badly. And you need to know that because that, the system itself might need some maintenance or the sprinkler package might need uh, sorting out. Um, the other calibration features such as, is the speed right? Are the tyre pressures right? Uh, are just basic things that sometimes are overlooked and we'll see that, that how that might affect the performance. Looking at the pump, uh, we want to be sure the pump is delivering the flow rate that it's supposed to the, to the system. We also want to be sure that the pump is operating as efficiently as it should be because it can cost a lot of money, a lot of extra money if the pump is not running efficiently. Not a lot of point trying to make money out of the milk but burning it up unnecessarily at the pump. And in this instance too, if the irrigation is not working well, he might be using excess water and excess power to get the same pasture growth that he could do much more efficiently. We don't know that yet. He might be doing a really good job. But unless it's measured, you don't know. And there are a lot that don't work as well as they should, unfortunately. One of the uh, components we look at in the evaluation is the sprinklers. There's a few key things that happen here and the sprinklers are the business end of the job, so they're pretty important. We want to know that the pressure is right just above the pressure regulator. We, need, we can do that by putting a pressure gauge here, or in this case we're putting one up at the top of the span. Either way, we can check whether the pressure is right as specified. Uh, the other thing that we want to check is the actual flow rate. We will put a, uh, a bucket here and we will measure the flow rate coming out of this sprinkler. Every one of them should be precisely measured. Uh, they are precisely specified, so we should measure them to see if they're doing it uh, uh, the, the rate they should. And if they're not, it usually means things are worn. The pressure regulator can wear, the nozzle can wear, or it might even be the wrong nozzle that someone's put in, and these spinner plates can wear. And if they're worn, then the system won't be working right. Individual check tells us whether there might be wear. The bigger picture that we get from the catch cans tells us whether it's doing the job it's supposed to do. Um, and it might be time to replace them. These things should be replaced about every 10,000 hours, these packages, because they do wear and then they don't work properly. We're here at the pump site at uh, Kaiwong Flat and what we've got here, what we're trying to do is measure the key parameters for an electric pump. We've got a flow meter set up here on the pipe and the flow is a key thing for the irrigation system and for the pump and we've got a pressure gauge on the pump uh, as well, on the outside side of the pump, and that's a key uh, piece of information. Those two things are what uh, determines the, uh, the duty point of the pump, and with the electric motor we'll be measuring the power going into that pump, and I can calculate the power that's going out from the flow and the pressure and a couple of other small things, and then we can compare to see how efficiently the pump's working. Uh, if it's not working efficiently, it's things like the impellers are worn or sometimes the pump has been wrongly selected or it was 
for another job and now it's on a, a low pressure job when it was on a high pressure job for example. Uh, things like that uh, is what can go wrong. There's not many things can go wrong, so it's not hard to check uh, and it pays to check because this is the workforce of the whole system. The irrigator has been operating now for a little while and it's passed over the catch cans. Here's a, the first row at my feet and then there's another row just over there. So we're replicating uh, what we're doing, giving two readings and we will come back and measure the volume that's in each one of these cans by measuring those and uh, doing a little bit of number crunching. We'll be able to work out the average amount that's gone out and how evenly it's gone out. What we're trying to achieve with all these readings and figures that we're doing, in the end, is to give uh, the farmer here, Adam, some confidence in what his system's doing. Uh, if he knows what his system's doing, then he can either adjust if it's not going quite as well as it should, or he knows what he's got to fix up. But what it does mean is, when he's doing his irrigation, he's confident of what's going out there. And he'll also be confident, hopefully, that his pump is doing the right thing by him and he's not uh, uh, wasting power.